The cockroach population here is great, but they're different species and I'm not really sure I have mating pairs here. So in order to really sustain this, I've got to go catch some more cockroaches for this area. Okay, so I picked this spot because there's a lot of brush and I'm going to bury this container as a trap for roaches to hopefully fall into. And I'm going to have this banana opened and inside to attract them and uh, a little bit of this almond butter as well. So hopefully that's going to be enough to catch some roaches here overnight, but we'll see. Okay, so underground, it is very hard, and uh, I've got just this tiny little shovel, and uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So, and so I'll probably just sit the container um, above ground, and roaches can climb it. So I don't think it's going to be a problem, and we'll just set it there, and we'll just check it in the morning. All right, so we have now the cockroach trap in place, and we'll just see how things go. I'll probably check it overnight. And then, of course, we'll wait until the morning to see what we actually caught. Okay, so it's been just a couple hours. Uh, 9 o'clock here. But, yeah, there's not a whole lot. I did add some apples, but there's not really anything going in the trap. So, we shall see how things turn up in the morning. But hey, check this out. I've got a Florida Woods cockroach right there. So I'm gonna catch it and uh, pull this one in. All right, so here we go. The Florida Woods cockroach. These are just incredible species because they eat all of this stuff, all this dead leaf matter. They consume it and they turn it into delicious protein. All right, so here we are in the next day. Let's check on this trap, see if we caught anything. So they're in there. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna pull this out and check it. Okay, so as it turns out, I got an Australian cockroach here, which is exactly the roach I was looking for, and this other one here, which I We'll need to look up. I'm not sure what species that is. But yeah, how exciting is that? Hopefully we have a breeding pair and uh, I guess we'll just find out in time. And as a bonus, it looks like the red house spider had more babies. So always nice to see. <laughs>